Lately, we've been getting a lot of articles and noise about how Uber Eats and Lyft is making storm in California. Articles like these ones and these ones. We actually created even a video on how Lyft is closing down right here. And that's the reason why today I decided to dive into how much do Uber drivers actually make for you. So then that way, if you're considering whether to jump into this gig economy or if you want to be able to actually set up your own delivery drivers, you can actually check this out as reference. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. Hey guys, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. Now I want to give a major, major shout out to these two individuals for their love and support. Once again, I love these kind of comments because that's where the positivity comes from. We need a lot more love in the world today. So if you guys could please, please, please leave us a lovely comment in the comment section below, that would be much, much appreciated. And so then that way you can get your chance to get featured. Now, once again, without further ado, let's dive right in. Now let's dive into how much Uber Eats driver actually make. Modes of transportation that is accepted would be bikes, scooters, and vehicles. So if you have any of these, you can actually apply to be an Uber driver. Now, how do you guys get paid? Now, Uber Eats has many different variables, namely six different variables to account for the actual rate that they pay you as an Uber driver. First one is the base fare. And what is the base fare? It takes into account the time, the distance, the pickup, and the drop-off. To give you an example, with pickup, every pickup that you do has a minimum rate, $1.50 per se, and drop-off rate would be 80 cents. So something like that, that regardless of whatever happens, this is what you would be making. Now add that into the time it takes for you to go pick it up and deliver that. That is also taken into the calculations. Same thing with the distance. So then that way they combine all these things into the base fare for you. What are trip supplements? It depends on if there's extra time needed or extra distance that is needed. And a lot of times it's very difficult for a driver to de dictate and determine that based upon the rush hours and any unforeseen circumstances. And that's the reason why there are supplements as well. Next up is promotions. These are the surge earnings, depending once again, if it's rush hour, then the rate might increase a little bit more because there's more demand, hence, there's gonna be less supply. And that's the reason why that drives up the price. And lastly, the tips. The tips, 100% of that goes to the driver. And as you can see in this model, this is how much they would be making typically. On average though, we're talking about 350 per delivery is what a delivery driver makes. Now on a day-to-day -day average, every hour they make an extra eight to $12. But once again, this is on average and I wanna put a disclaimer out there that if you're making less than this, please, please, please do not flame me in the comments. But if you're making more than this, I would actually like to know how close it is. So definitely leave it in the comment section below. But once again, these videos are for educational purposes only, okay? If you guys like these kind of videos that talks about money, definitely smash the like button so I know this is the type of video you like. Now, without further ado, let's dive right back in. Now that we have a basis of how much Uber drivers make per hour, eight to $12, let's look at the expenses. Some of the expenses that they're responsible for would be their gas, the auto loan, and also their insurance. And that's the reason why before you even think about jumping into Uber Eats as a full-time driver, do calculate these costs and put that into the revenue that you make. A lot of times this becomes a really good side gig where regardless of you being an Uber driver or not, you still need to pay for your insurance if you have a car at home. You still need to pay for your auto loan regardless. So the only variable cost that we're really talking about is your time and the gas involved. And that's the reason why really do take these into consideration and your calculations before you dive in as a full-time gig for you. So there you go. We know the basic principles of how Uber Eats driver truly make. This is good reference if you wanna jump into the career of this as a side gig, or if you wanna set up your own delivery system. Regardless of the fact, Uber Eats and DoorDash and these third-party apps delivery has made life a lot more efficient for end consumers. And that's the reason why it also opened up a ton of different doors to make this whole food economy even more efficient 
namely Cloud Kitchen. If you don't know what Cloud Kitchen is, definitely check out this video. Cloud Kitchen is basically having your restaurant with no storefront and only third party apps coming in, picking up your orders and delivering it to go. This is such a brilliant business model and that's the reason why I talk about it so, so much. And this is all thanks to third party app delivery system that spawned this new concept called the Cloud Kitchen. If you guys want to learn more about Cloud Kitchens, we actually have a Facebook group which you can join and we talk a lot more about this, the different insights, how you can take advantage of it, all in the links below. Definitely go check it out. Now, I do really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy tips, tricks, and hacks in building a restaurant or anything within the restaurant business, make sure you subscribe along the journey. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.